fighting for a NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Championship. Nick Sanchez with Rev Racing, with Kyle Busch Motorsports. Right now in the playoffs, looking to get above that cut line here in this opening round. But you guys have really had consistency this year. Four poles. The speed has been there. So as a rookie, I mean, you can't complain much. But what's kind of been the strengths here in 2023? Uh, I think it, it's just really been raw speed in my team. You know, like you said, four poles, you know, I think six front row starts. Like the speed's there and it makes everything a lot easier. Um, but now we're just looking to close it out. Like we've this past weekend in Milwaukee, you know, we, we were close to the end and, you know, we didn't close it out for, for whatever the reasons we didn't do it. So I think that's kind of been the theme of the year, you know, speed, you're there at the end and you don't win <laughs> and it's frustrating, but, you know, I think that's the final check mark, uh, to put in our season. And I think once we do that, we'll be in good shape to hopefully make it to Phoenix. So looking for that first win in the truck series, but I'm gonna go back to your very first win in the Arkham Menard series, came at Kansas Speedway. I remember I'm sitting there in the media bleachers and when you were getting out of the car, you kind of like halfway got out and your face just looked stoic. Do you remember what the feeling was like winning that first ever ARCA NASCAR race in your career? What was the emotions coming out of that car? Yeah, it was kind of unexpected with the way the race went. Like, I think we led the last two laps. So that was kind of like still kind of in shock with how it went down. Um, but I'm not a real emotional guy, even, you know, when I do win. Um, so I guess that stoic look is kind of second nature for me. <laughs> But yeah, it was kind of unexpected, so it, it probably it probably fed into that look. <laughs> so that trophy you can just kind of iconic. You you have that golden the golden point there. You told me you didn't tell me where, but you told me you had a spot picked out. You said, "Oh yeah, we got a, a very nice place in the shop and at my house." <laughs> <laughs> where is that trophy right now? It's like on a mantle in the living room. <laughs> so it it's nice because like the trophy blends into like pretty much any sculpt anything you have. Like it's not. You look at it first glance, it doesn't look like a race win trophy. It's just, I guess, a piece of art. I don't know what you call it. So, yeah, it kind of blends in and it's like a talking piece. And hopefully, I can get a lot more talking pieces. <laughs> so, Fox did a great story with you that debuted uh, before the Milwaukee race, just kind of getting to know you. And I want to dig a little bit deeper into that because now that you're racing more and more, obviously, you've been racing all your life, but the truck series, NASCAR, your part time Xfinity series racing for a while, like, there's a lot of traveling, there's a lot to do. So I'm really curious, what do you do to unwind, just decompress? What is Nick Sanchez doing on an off week, just trying to relax? For me, like the most therapeutic things going on a run. So like on my off week. See, I, that's what makes you yeah. different. Rachel, like running is, is therapeutic to you, like? And cooking. Uh, I've, it's kind of grown on me. It's kind of weird because I never thought I would say that about cooking, but like between running and cooking, that's like a decompression for me. Um, so yeah, like I, I love to run. It just kind of like takes stuff out of your mind and I don't really have any hobbies like people like hunting and fishing. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't have the patience for that. So stick to running. I mean, cooking takes patience though. So like what, what's the favorite dish? Like what's the go-to for you then? I'm going to be honest when I meant cooking, I meant grilling. So I only like grilling steaks <laughs> and like you could just do it a bunch of ways, you know, a bunch of different types, uh, different seasoning, different like age all that stuff and I enjoy it. But like, as far as like, I should have specified that cause like actually cooking's not, I'm not really good at that. I mean, grilling takes patience too though. You got flip it at the right, like what? Okay, I know this is controversial, but like, how do you do your steak? Medium rare. Me okay. 100%. Anything but that is the wrong answer, in my opinion. <laughs> or even you could go a little bit rare, depends what you're cooking. See, that takes patience and you gotta do it right too. Cause I mean, once you get like into medium and past medium, then it's like, cardboard yeah. so at that point do you even eat it you know exactly at that point you just throw it away and start over <laughs> exactly okay so i'm gonna step away back from grilling we'll go back to racing real quick to finish this thing off but i mean like you said we've had the speed the four poles eventually you're gonna break through eventually you're gonna get that win but your takeaways now in the first round of the playoffs if you just look back and go what do i take away most from this rookie year um i think you know first like hardship you know the, like i said the short track stuff you know we've absolutely struggled like horrendously on short tracks. When you look at Martinsville, Wilkesboro, IRP, um, all those places, we we sucked. <laughs> Plain and simple. And Milwaukee was our really our last chance to go test ourselves at a high wear, uh, flatter, short track, even though it's a mile. And we did that and, you know, we showed up and we made improvements. So, you know, obviously Phoenix is a little bit different of a ball game in Bristol as well. Um, in the short track range, but really looking forward to next year, like building off those experiences that we that I that I gained at Milwaukee, and I think just you know overcoming that hardship, you know, just sucking at those tracks was a nice thing mentally, and I think it just gives me and my team way more confidence.
Nick Sanchez hoping to be right back here at Phoenix November 3rd fighting for a NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Championship. Got to get there first. Big few months coming up in the Truck Series.